A former Davis High School secretary now facing a second degree felony after she allegedly used thousands of dollars of school funds for her personal use. Yeah, these new charges at the center of a crisis in the classroom report. Uh, they were filed against 47 year old Kelly Wilco earlier this month. She was terminated by the school back in July of 2021 after working at the school for 10 years. KUTV's Emma Riley joining us live from Davis High School. And Emma, how much money is she accused of taking while employed at the school? Well, according to court documents, Wilco is accused of, she admitted to spending more than $82,000 of the school's funds while she was employed at the school as a secretary. The Davis County Attorney's Office filed charges against Kelly Wilco for misuse of public funds on September 14th. Wilco admitted to spending more than $80,000 in school funds between July 21st, 2020 and February 9th, 2021, according to court documents. I reached out to the Davis County Attorney's Office for comment on the case and did not receive a response. On April 27th, 2021, Davis County School Auditor Nathan Lee told investigators he noticed a transaction made by Wilco for more than $1,000 to a PayPal account. The court document states Wilco later admitted that it was her PayPal account and she was using the money for personal use. Lee told investigators Wilco had access to two different credit cards, one in her name and one for authorized school purchases. After Lee noticed the $1,000 charge to PayPal, he found 42 unauthorized charges from both credit cards to the PayPal account, adding up to more than $40,000. According to the court document, Lee found other suspicious transactions. One was for a $2,700 Home Depot purchase. The document states there were so many transactions made by Wilco, it was difficult for the school auditor to determine which were for school and which were for personal uses. Wilco admitted to investigators the Home Depot charge was for new flooring for her home. I reached out to the Davis County School District for comment on Wilco's employment how Wilco's spending impacted students, what the money could have been used for instead, how long the school knew before she was put on leave, and what Davis High School officials could do to prevent this from happening again. School District Director of Communications Christopher Williams responded saying the activity discovered through the internal auditing process proves to be effective and no students or programs were adversely impacted because the funds were recouped. According to Davis County School District, Wilco was placed on leave in April 2021 and terminated the following July. And Wilco's first appearance is set for November 1st, 2023. Live in Kaysville, Emma Riley, KUTV, 2 News.